with an onclick method of pay with pay stack. This pay with pay stack method is not defined yet, so we're going to go back to Flutter. I said Flutter. <laughs> I love Flutter with a lot. We're going to go back to paystack.com, go to the JavaScript section, copy the function pay with pay stack down to the ending. So we go back again to our imp our editor here and paste in the method we just copy now. We save. After doing that, we're going to paste in our key. So you go back, you go to your um, Flutter. I say Flutter. Why is Flutter coming to my mouth? You go to your Pistack dashboard, copy your test key. After copying your test key, apply it to your key. Then for the email, the email has been passed already with our ID. And for the amount, the amount has been passed already with our ID. Let me show you where it is so that you won't get confused. This is the email email ID, the Hamont ID. Okay, so let's scroll down again and see what we have next. The reference has been generated and on close function has been generated for the alert window close and for the callback, this is where we are going to use the hijax to verify the payment. But first, let's run it and see if it's actually working. So let me save this now and and as you know, this is just a, 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 a function that is passing directly from the button but well, now we will, be, we will be deleting that and take and take out the event area now the event is not actually loaded again so we are going to take out this guy now take out this attribute and reference to the id we have here for the for the form tag so we're going to copy the reference and and use it down here so we're going to say jq jq submit jq submit so in the jq submit we're going to point to the reference make payment and after the user has make a click on this form that is submit the data in the form we're going to run this function pay with pay stock function pay with pay stock is going to be run that's what we are trying that's what we are telling the browser on oh, this code to do anytime the user click on this button run pay with pay stock method and pay with paste method is going to bring up the pop-up for our payment for our payment so now let's go back to our pay payment page so let me go back to it again local host it it sorry i closed it 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 because it it slash make payment make payment so let me zoom in slash make payment so now i'm going to enter my email amount i want to pay first name last name p so now we have the pop-up comes up so i'm going to use the sources by doing that let me bring up my um console actually we are not accepting anything yet but let me bring up my console so make payment of two thousand naira. now payment successful as you can see the reference has been passed to the alert so that it, so that reference now is all again to use to verify the payment now this is the re this is the message why this is the reference so this reference is going to be tied to a new value now so let me just take this guy out so i'm going to say let reference equals to sorry equals to this reference here so the reference has been accepted so what we need to do now is to use our jquery ajax get method so jq get method so i'm going to be using get method to pick um, to point to our ajax to make a verification for this code but first let's see let's try to send the data down to the code data and see if it's going to work so i'm going to say php echo base base underscore url base underscore url now inside my url i'm going to pass i'm going to pass the new url i want to add now at the moment we haven't had any url yet so i'm going to go back to my route and de i'm define the url so i'm going to make a clone of this and make this place verify verify now verify slash 
slash what number so that will be accepting number from here now in my verification I'm going to make this to also a verify after verify has been added so I'm going to make a slash then dollar sign one that is the first parameter so I'll be accepting the first parameter in my verifier now to make a verification of this we need to declare this method the method is not declared yet so I'm going to go back to this place and make a dev or a declaration for my method so public function verify and accepting the number which is the ID transaction ID so I'll be accepting transaction ID so after transaction ID has been accepted let me return the ID to the request and see if it's going to work with our Ajax so I'll go back to my to my Ajax settings now copy my URL verify slash the number so we'll come back to this place and see eco base URL verify slash the reference that we are pointing at so I'm going to copy this reference now and see plus reference plus reference oh sorry this PHP so this uh, our base URL has been echoed successfully so outside outside the PHP syntax I'm going to add my reference my reference is going to be had here so automatically it's going to be seen slash reference now after that has been done we delete this data section we don't need that data section now below here we're going to log we're going to log our data now this data type you don't need it just take out data type so we're going to log our data down below here so let's try to do the let's try to make the payment again and see what we have so i will refresh the page refresh the page add a dummy data make a payment of 2000 error clear this syntax here let me zoom my console so you to see everything in my console so scroll down p okay so let me scroll down success p now I'm payment successful oh it says not found now there is no slash so I need to add a slash to it slash that's why there's an issue so refresh the page again refresh the page again refresh okay dummy takes 2000 error take out this guy make payment make payment um, sources make payment okay payment successful as you can see our ajax is working so we are receiving our transaction id so we go back to our code now now this way we are going to make this way we are going to make our verification so now our transaction id is being received so over here we are going to verify our payment to do that we need to go to we need to go back to paystack and navigate down to the transaction verification section so we scroll down to the verification type of it to so verify transaction uh, where is the code so we need to scroll down to where the transaction can be verified verify transaction um, okay sorry I'm trying to check this verification okay verify payment here yeah. okay good so now we have it so I'm going to turn it to PHP so in the PHP format we have this so I'm going to copy everything here yeah, to our um, to our verify method so I'll paste it now and make an indentation for it okay so we're going to be sending this data this id to our verify out to our verification url with this reference so the reference will be passed to this place now for our secret key our secret key will be passed to this place too so i will go back to my paste tag then copy my secret key go back to my code paste in my secret key save it and after doing that 
this response I'm going to I'm going to make a I'm going to make a, a an, an edit suite so at the moment we have a response coming from paystack.com but it's not well written now we can't easily uh, we can't easily um, check we can easily navigate to it using um, using this method what's it called using a JSON method so I'm going to say if there's an error equal or return if there's an error equal error equal error else if there's no error equal sources sources so if there's no error it's going to equal source and if there's error it's going to equal error so we'll be using this format for now in our coding data for then the next version we're going to enter into the json data respectively so and i'm very sure you can also enter into it but for now we are stopping in this place so let me save it now and go back to our site now our url refresh the page make a payment and let's see what we have so make a payment of 2000 sorry make a payment of 2000 error pay oh there's an issue again make a payment of 2000 error okay so i'm going to select sources pay 2000 successfully now as you can see it says sources so our payment has been verified successfully thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you have any issue related to this tutorial comment below i uh, will definitely help you okay see you in the next tutorial